This is Samara and she needs your help. Hi, I'm Hannah with Arla Real Estate. and We're back for another episode of Saving DMV. And today we're saving dogs. So as the foster home coordinator and being a board member of D.A.R.E., the local Doberman Rescue, I see a lot of sad cases and you may remember our story of Mozart from last April. Well, we have another one. Meet Samara. She is a beautiful three-year-old Doberman. She's active and loves to play. She is so gentle with people because all she wants is your love and attention. <laughs> Always. <laughs> well, when she came to us, you see, she had a weird way of sitting. Her legs were sort of splayed out underneath her side and her knees and her elbows were enlarged. She couldn't do stairs properly because she couldn't bend her knees correctly. So we took her to an orthopedic specialist and he said she should look worse than she does. This poor dog had issues in all of her limbs. He suspected she had torn her CCL in both knees. This is a non-healing ligament tear. She needed TPLO surgery on both knees. He also suspected that her meniscus was probably shot in both knees. But that's not all. She also had fragmented coronoid process, which is where your um, ulna in your elbow, well, in your, the dog's elbow, uh, keeps growing. And it's, it's likely a, a birth defect and it causes bone fragments to form where the bone has chipped the elbow in its growing process. So she needed to have surgery to remove those bone fragments from her elbows. This means she needed a surgery on all four limbs. Okay, so the first of her surgeries was TPLO surgery on one of her knees. Now the actual surgery itself did go well, but she had a really rough recovery. We had to do several more medical procedures in order to keep the um, incision site closed and healing properly. We even had to get some medical maggots involved, but I won't go into details. 12 weeks later, post-op, she got the all clear from her orthopedic surgeon and she was ready to go back to being a dog and um, she was allowed to even have a little bit of off-leash time. So at this point, Samara's regular vetting through knee surgery cost us about $15,200. On Monday, she just had surgery on both of her elbows. That cost about another $3,500. So we don't regret paying for this vet care. She's worth it. She's a great dog. She wants to be happy and carefree and pain-free life. She needed to have these surgeries, but she's an expensive lady. Right behind her, we had another dog come in, Samson. He also needed surgery, which cost about $4,200 between all of his vetting, diagnostics, and, and the actual surgery itself. So now I'm here with a new goal to fundraise $20,000 to help pay for the vet care for these dogs. So we have set up a GoFundMe page and whether you have $10 or $500, anything counts. And if you can't contribute financially, please consider sharing this video with your friends and family. If you wanna contribute, then click on the link right next to this video to go over to our GoFundMe page. And after all of the amazing support that we got for Mozart last year, let's do it again. Let's go team, it's dog saving time. I'm Hannah with Arla Real Estate and Dare the Doberman Rescue.